Hey there friends, it is me, HL Montuck, and today I've got something for you. It's called an extension, and you only get to do this if all of your work for all of the 18 weeks has been completed. So if you can show me that you got all your screenshots turned in, if they're all great, then I'll let you watch this movie and actually use the Viper Racing. So, assuming you're approved, let me show you how this works. Step one, of course, is to move over to the Viper Racing computers. These are extremely old, so we've got some very special rules when we use them. Rule number one is to get down here and see if this is actually turned on. Check the arrow keys to see if it wakes up on the keyboard. If it's not lit up, then it's not turned on and you may turn it on. The computer is going to boot into Windows 98. It is extremely ancient. Uh, Windows 98 is actually what works best with this game because it's from 1999. While it's loading, let me explain the joysticks. I've got these uh, little stands that I built that held them in place. Below them is a gas pedal and a brake pedal. And then behind them, it has paddle shifters, as you have to do manual shifting in our car. If you ever see this screen, that is bad. That means the person in front of you did not shut it down with the mouse. When you get to the end of the day, make sure you use the mouse to click the start and choose shutdown. If you ever see this screen, make sure you notify me so I can talk to the kids that were in front of you. After a while, that screen should complete its business if it pops up. If it doesn't, you'll be in even faster. If you see the password screen, it is the letter A. It should enter it automatically, but because of that error a moment ago, this one was stuck. Then you just need to wait for the program to launch as it's all set to pop up on its own. This is what Viper Racing looks like when it arrives. Simply hit play, and you can wait for it to load. It pops up a sweet intro, but if you want to skip the intro, you can just hit space or escape. And this is what it looks like when you get in. I ask that you use Quick Race. We always use the Dodge Viper, Dayton, we always have Intermediate, Damage On, we use the Sprint Race, and we use the AI Skill Easy, and there's seven cars with the normal Ghost. Make sure you stay in Dayton, otherwise you won't be allowed to play anymore. Be normal. You can hit Enter, and I want you to simply hit Race. When you start, make sure you hit the paddles and shift to first gear, and then gently step on the gas. If you stand on it too hard, you will lose control. Then turn your attention to the tachometer so as soon as it turns yellow, you can switch to the next gear. The more smooth you hold the steering wheel, the easier it is. And then when you get to the corners, make sure you let off the gas and use the brake if necessary so that you don't run into the wall. If you ever wreck your car, which is easy to do, you can press spacebar to reset. When both you and your partner have achieved third place or better, you can show me and then talk to me about how to race in multiplayer. All right, friends, so here's how you quit. You hit escape, end race, and then you can hit escape and escape and escape, and then finally click exit. And this is the most important part of using this old computer. When you're finished, you must click start and choose shutdown. Make sure it's on shutdown and tell it OK. Never press a button to shut down one of my older PCs. That all happens on its own, and now you're good to go. All right, friends, so just making sure you understand this. Very ancient computer, so I'm very protective of it. That is the only course I allow you to be in, and you must follow those skills to make sure that you can drive successfully, because if I do allow you to go to multiplayer, you need to be a much better driver than you are when you first start out. So hey friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Montag. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.